What's up and welcome to an episode of Gizmo Slip. Today, we're going to be taking some Ooblek, an iPhone, and a sledgehammer. We're going to see if that Ooblek can protect the iPhone from the sledgehammer. It's going to be freaking epic. Let's get started. Ooblek is a non-Newtonian fluid, it's called, which means that it's both a liquid and a solid, depending on the amount of force that is applied to it. So this is cornstarch. To make this, all you need is cornstarch and water. Shkram. We got a whole bunch of Ooblek here. That should be good, I think. This stuff is so cool. It feels so interesting in your fingers once you get it all mixed up. That's the right consistency right there. Beautiful, beautiful Ooblek. So as I'm hitting my fingers, you'll notice it's completely stopping my fingers from progressing further down. So when the sledgehammer hits, is it gonna be able to absorb and prevent that impact from transferring all the way straight down into the phone? Or is it gonna still shatter the phone? I can't wait to find out. So as you can see, this iPhone is fully functional. Let's go ahead and drop it in there. Let it sink to the bottom. It takes forever to move through Ooblek. This Ooblek is perfect. It's the essence of the black. Okay, so that phone is in the bottom middle. Oh my gosh, it's so hard to move my fingers through here. Okay, we're ready. Let's get the hammer out and get swinging. Now, do you think the glass bowl is gonna break? Post your opinion in the top right. And will the iPhone 6S survive the sledgehammer swing? Post your opinion in the top right as well. I think that yes, the 6S will totally live through this. What do you think, Jeff? It depends on how hard you hit it. But no, I'm gonna hit so. it full strength. Then no, not at all. What? There's no way. Dude, I think it'll survive. All right, here we go. Moment of truth. I can't wait to find out what happens. Here we go. Dude, I really hope I make it in the middle, dude. If I mess this up, it's gonna be so annoying to clean up and redo. Three, two, one. Holy crap. Okay, so this is at 18,500 frames per second. Here comes that sledgehammer, kaboom! And you immediately see the dusting of the initial impact hits the bowl, the bowl actually absorbs the whole impact and doesn't crack initially, as far as I can tell. It looks okay. It lifts off completely, tilting to the side. Jeez, how did that not shatter the bowl? You can see the Ooblek actually cracked right where that impact happened. And you can see the phone against the bottom of the glass. Ooblek tumbling out onto the cinder block. Oh, you get a nice little view into the bowl. You see that impact crater? Oh, wow, that is so cool. Get impacted on the far other side and somehow it just breaks apart, shattering like crazy. Okay, glass shards going everywhere. Let's go take a closer look and see if that iPhone survived. <laughs> so excited. Is it shattered? The iPhone is shattered. What? No way! I thought it protected it based on how it hit. It's completely shattered. All right, we gotta clean up this Ooblek before it gets too crazy, but dang, I can't believe it. Holy crap. Let's clean this bad boy off. Oh, so you can tell it's actually bent down here. It's like crooked, like it's flat, 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 crooked down. It was in the bowl like this. The hammer came in from this angle, which kabam, and that force transferred through that oob like right into the phone, no problem at all. Completely shattering it in an amazing spider web of cracks where you can tell that the primary impact point was right here spreading outwards because down here it's barely shattered at all. What amazes me is that the bowl did not shatter until it fell off the cinder block and hit the concrete. Like that's amazing. So it's a bummer this iPhone died. It's amazing that the glass bowl initially survived, and then when it shattered, that shattering just looks so beautiful. It's freaking awesome. Anyway, if you wanna go check out another awesome video with Ooblek, go check out Can Ooblek Protect an iPad from a 100 foot drop test. Link in the description, annotation at the end. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Brandon, out.